So a bit of this play tank, everything's doing well as you can see the newbies settled in and his eye is fine now. It's all healed up. Um, yeah, everything's going pretty well on this one. The only thing I'm not concerned about it, but less than happy about is there seems to be a lot of bits recently. So I have, it's just a little bit, it's not cloudy, there's just a lot of particles flowing around. Um, so I did a big watch the other day and not expected that, but they're just not gone away. So in the sump, in that second last section, just added a load of filter floss and an extra couple of bits of Hamburg mat, no, jet mat, matting, whatever it's called. Hoping to catch them all out in here and get it in, so hopefully that will clear it up again and be all better. But yeah, I'm fairly happy with that, everything's looking pretty healthy. So let's go down to the fish room and have a look at the tanks down there. Rainbow tank. There's actually now a rainbow and shrimp tank. I like to spread my shrimp around everywhere just to make sure you can keep the colonies going. Um, kind of battling algae in this one. I'm not really spending enough time on it. Uh, I'm not adding ferps consistently, so it's probably all my own fault. So I can't really complain too much. Um, but I've only recently added the shrimp, so hopefully they'll start to help take care of it as well. Um, but I know it's really my own fault, so... Still, I like this tank, I like the look of it. Um, I know I lost a few, if you watched the previous videos, I watched a few... Lost a few of the rainbow fish in the fire. Um, so at the moment I've got what looks like three males and two females, which is probably the wrong way around. But I'll probably get a few more at some point. Um, as well as some of the shrimp. But the plants from when I first planted this that I didn't know what they were, they've all gone, so they died. So they obviously weren't meant to be planted the way I planted them. But everything else seems to be doing okay. Uh, this is more the planted side, and that's the kind of hard to keep side with a few plants. That going to focus. So there's a few shrimp dotted around the place. They've only been in a few days, really. And already, looks like we're going to have baby shrimp soon. Because that's what they call a buried shrimp. You can see the eggs on the, the underside of it. So, hopefully plenty of places in there for the little baby shrimp to hide. Or these guys get another feed. Uh, quick look in on this guy. Just changed his water. Or her water. His water, her water. She is doing great. Um, so, in this tank we've got the Fahaka Puffer, in this tank we've got the Fahaka Puffer's dinner. Um, so, he slash she has moved on to the bigger snails. Which seems to act as a bit of a conundrum to the fish, because sometimes it took her a while to figure out how to get in to these snails but as you can see she's just tearing through them now. I don't know whether it's a male or a female. I don't know how you sex them to be honest, I haven't even looked it up. So if you know how to sex these fish, let me know in the comments. So Puffer enjoying the snails. Down here we've got a bazillion baby bristlenose Lacostomus and Cistrus. 
So there you can see one which is one of the first babies all growing up. So there's a few generations in here. Uh, just on that plant pot there you can probably see the first lot which is maybe two inches long there. And then for instance down here is one of the newer babies. So they're doing well. Obviously Crobensis tank still going strong. Tons and tons of fish in there. I need really to get rid of some of these. So if you're in the area and you want some Crobensis, let me know. Uh, guppies and shrimp. Guppies and shrimp. And this tank has the black ghost knife hiding there and the Tomasi cichlid there. This is going to be the Fahaka tank. And the only reason I haven't moved them over yet is, well, this was his cro this was the quarantine tank, but quarantine's done now. It's perfectly healthy. Uh, looks great. He's ready to go in the tank. I swithered for a bit whether to put him in that tank or not. But ultimately he's going in here. But I want to put sand in here and the weather around here has been awful for the past wee while. Every time I go away, I get really good weather, but every time I'm here, it's really bad weather. And I've got two big bags of sand to wash out before I put it in there, so... I'm thinking of doing my lazy man's adding sand tactic. Which is, normally you would get your sand, put it in a bucket, rinse it with a hose until the water runs clear, and then start adding the sand handful by handful or bucket by bucket into your aquarium but it seems like an awful lot of effort to me so what I've done is I've fished out my old Fluval FX5 5? yep and what I'm going to do is just fill this full of filter floss and junk like that and basically add all the sand to the aquarium hook up the FX5 and stir the sand around and the FX5 will pull out all the dust and all the crap and just leave the sand and then it should be good. Now I've done this before two or three times because I'm a very lazy person and it's always been fine. Um, I try not to do it with the fish in the tank but it doesn't hurt them, it's perfectly fine for the fish. So I've not decided what to do because I've managed to lose one of the hoses for the FX5 so I need to go and cut myself a new piece of hose before I can set all this up so this is mostly a video about all the things I'm going to do at some point which I haven't yet done but anyway that is one of the new tank mates in there for the puffer I'm hoping that because these are still quite a lot bigger than the puffer, you won't bother them. Um, you may have heard me in videos in the past talking about live food and feed your guppies and things like that for this guy. I've stopped feeding him fish. Um, he's purely on a diet of snails, bloodworm. Um, I've fed him some shrimp and some frozen prawns and mussels. And he started to peck at some pellets, but it's not fully onto pellets yet. But I think he's getting a wide and varied enough diet that he doesn't really need the feeder guppies. Um, but they're always there if I need them. Speaking of which, up here we've got more in the way of guppies. So, guppies. That's not a guppy, obviously. That is one of my betas. going off. And here we've got some shrimp and some guppies. <coughs> More guppies, another better hiding somewhere. Um, I'm basically just feeding these tanks, doing water changes and not too much going on in life to worry about my big plans which was to start line weeding some guppies. So I'm just keeping the colonies going for the moment. Uh, and that's, that's about it really for down here. So I'll sign off 
saying next time we see you, this tank will look completely different. I'm planning to scape it. It'll have the puffer in it, it'll have sand in it, some rocks, some wood, some plants, and hopefully some fish that are all getting along well together. Um, but for now, I think we'll call it quits there. And thank you for watching. And remember, click that button down below and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.